You're listening to Mittens in the Morning, a community cat news production. Hey, 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 all you fabulous felines out there. You're listening to Mittens in the Morning. First, let's take a look at the weather. Looking out my window, and it's looking cloudy. There are no sunny spots to lay in right now. Lucky for you, I have a few tips for keeping warm when the sun is MIA. Number one tip is find a box with a little green or yellow light. These devices stay toasty warm all year round. If your human gets mad at you for laying on it, that's how you know it's a good spot. I'm lounging on a Wi-Fi router as we speak. Other heat sources that we'll do in a pinch are towels right after they come out of the loud, scary hot box and the bathroom where your human is taking a shower. Plus, the humidity in there is great for your sinuses. Oh, looks like the sun is coming out. Better hurry and call dibs on the sunny spot, which we all know is only big enough for one cat at a time. I've got a surprise for our listeners this morning. Sitting here with me is none other than Jim Harry, raccoon comedian. He's in town doing a show this weekend. Jim, how are you? Mittens, I'm doing so great. I have to sit on both of my hands to keep from clapping. Also from scratching. The doctor's worried. So, uh, no hard feelings about Tom and Fiona kicking you out of the studio last time? Not at all. We raccoons have a long and proud history of being kicked out of places. In fact, the word raccoon is from a native Powhatan word that roughly translates to Get off my porch, you lousy trash panda! Glad to hear it! So where can our listeners catch you this weekend? I'm going to be doing a show in the alleyway behind Bruno's Pizza. I always love playing Bruno's because they have the best breadsticks and the lousiest trash can lids. Boom, boom, chee. Mmm, I do love a good breadstick. To the cats listening at home, today is your lucky day because I'm giving away four tickets to see Jim Harry this Friday night behind Bruno's Pizza. This not only gets you in the alley, it gets you access to the all-you-can-scrounge Italian buffet. It's going to be a good time. Perfect for a double date. I promise you will laugh your whiskers off. Here's what you have to do to win. Call into the station and you're going to go up against Jim Harry in a movie trivia contest. If you can beat Jim, the tickets are all yours. Jim, would you consider yourself a movie buff? Are you kidding? I love movie theaters. All that snack food just laying on the floor. In the dark. It's a raccoon paradise. Call up any money, I'll take two tickets. But here's a little tip. If you ever get a hankering for a muskrat and they're not in season, try the theater on 8th Street. They serve a hot dog that is very similar to it in flavor. And we got our first caller. You're live on the air. What's your name? Zoe. Zoe, do you watch a lot of movies? Ooh, oh, I do. My humans have Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Peacock. And I have a special spot on the couch no one else is allowed to sit in. Sounds like you're feeling confident, Zoe. If you win the tickets, who are you going to take to the comedy show? Well, let's see. I live on a farm, so I have a lot of friends. There's Pepper the Barn Cat. Okay, you and Pepper the Barn Cat. Who gets the other two tickets? Ooh, I could bring my chicken friends from the coop. Great idea. I love chickens. Zoe, uh, let's leave your chicken friends at home for this one. Who else could you bring? Can I bring goats? Well, that depends. Do they like comedy? Um, they like to jump on things and butt heads with each other. Ah, bring them to the late show. They'll fit right in. Here's how the game works. I'm going to ask three movie trivia questions. Zoe, to win the tickets, you have to get more right answers than Jim Harry. Are you ready? Ready. First question. In the 1993 classic Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, what is the name of the leading cat? That's easy. Sassy, voiced by Sally Field. That is correct. One point for Zoe. Yes. You were awfully quiet over there, Jim. Well, I'm just letting to get a good one in before I bring down the hammer. All right, Jim. I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself here. The 2000 romantic comedy Meet the Parents stars a Himalayan. What is his name? Robert De Niro. No. Zoe, you know this one? <laughs> it's me. 
Mr. Jinx. Another point for Zoe. Jim, let's face it, she has you on the ropes. This cat knows her feline cinema. Zoe, you are the peanut m ms and I am the stale black licorice stuck to the floor, or a McRib that's past its date. Obviously, Zoe's gonna beat the stripes off you, so I picked out this last question just for you, Jim. I'm gonna throw you a bone. I prefer the gizzard, but I'll take a bone. Okay, here it is. In the 2014 space adventure Guardians of the Galaxy, what is the name of the raccoon character? Rocket! That is correct! Jim, at least you lost on a high note. Zoe, congratulations! You won four tickets to Jim Harry's comedy show. Yes, I won! I won! I won! I won! I won! I won! I'll see you this weekend, Zoe. And don't listen to Mittens. You can bring your chicken friends. <laughs> and some barbecue sauce. Do not bring your chicken friends. Thanks for playing, Zoe. And before you go, who made you a winner? Mittens in the Morning. You're listening to Mittens in the Morning, a community cat news production. Are you in the market for a new or used scratchy post? Then get your fluffy tail down to the Post Emporium. Mom, mom. We guarantee we'll match any trade and offer in town. We've got triple perch towers. We've got hammocks, layered cardboard, and this weekend only. When you purchase a new cat tower, we'll throw in a catnip infusion for free. So what are you waiting for? Is it a time you got the scratching post of your dreams? Right now, Jim Harry is going to help me read some of our reviews from Apple Podcasts. Take it away, Jim. Weevil 2009 says, It's hilarious and funny. Cats telling tales of their own. If you are having a bad day, this one is for you. Great for all ages. And please put the raccoon in every episode from now on. Are you sure about that last part? Got another one here. EasyGo22 says, It's witty and relatable and an excellent source of chuckles for anyone. P.S. Oh, this was surprising. That Jim Harry is beyond hilarious. He deserves an eight-piece meal from KFC, extra crispy, with a side of mashed potatoes and gravy. Hold the coleslaw because what am I, a rabbit? <laughs> what up, Doc? Wow, that is very specific. I have a review here in Apple Podcast from jska88 that says, My nine-year-old and I both love it. He asked to listen to it again as soon as we finished the first six episodes. jska88, I love that you and your nine-year-old cat listen. Personally, I think the best way to bond with your cat is to listen to our show together. Give him an extra scratch between the ears and tell him it's for mittens. I have a review here from Cozy, also on Apple Podcasts. They say... This podcast is a light delight and a happy thing. I'm looking forward to enjoying more episodes. And if you order the KFC meal now, Jim could enjoy it during the next commercial break. Sadly, KFC doesn't open for another three hours. But my human did put leftovers in the fridge last night. I think it was tacos. I could go for tacos. If we work together... With your grip strength and my knowledge of interior fridge layout, I think we could pull it off. All right. Jim and Mittens pulling a heist, just like those guys in that documentary, The Great Outdoors. Let's see. We have exactly seven minutes until my human's alarm clock goes off, which means that's how long we have to get in the kitchen, open the fridge, liberate the tacos from the top shelf, and transport them to a second location for eating. Let's do it. Jim, Harry, and I are making our way down a long hallway toward the kitchen. Tacos, here I come! We've made it to the kitchen. The coast is clear. Wow, that is a big fridge. It's got the double doors and everything. Phew, it's gonna be heavy. Not impossible, but heavy. Do you think you can open it? I believe it was Shakespeare who said, Some raccoons are born with tacos. Some raccoons achieve tacos, and some raccoons have tacos thrust upon them. But today, I am going to achieve those tacos, and I'm going to thrust them in my mouth. That's the spirit. Give me a boost. 
Ow! You got me in the eye. Sorry. Watch your foot. Hold still down there. Almost there. Just gotta pull. You gotta want it, Jim. Yes. It's open. I'll just hop inside and surround your mouth. Jim, no, the door. Closes automatically. Whoa, who turned out the lights? You okay in there, Jim Harry? I found the tacos. <laughs> and they are delicious. Oh, they have Snapple? What is this, 1994? Don't mind if I do. Kiwi strawberry, my favorite. See, the thing is, I can't get you out. Why would I need to get out? This is a raccoon paradise. I mean, the atmosphere is, it's a little, it's a little thin here. I, I feel like a bit woozy. Oh boy, all oh, this isn't good. Jim Harry is losing oxygen and I can't open the fridge. I'll get help. Meow, meow, meow. Oh boy, that didn't work. Time to escalate. I'll just find something expensive and... Mittens? You have food right there in your bowl. Meow! That's not good enough for you? You think you need the wet food? Right now? Meow! For someone who doesn't pay rent, you've got a lot of nerve. Hey there! <laughs> Can I get a to-go box? I'll leave a good Yelp review. Get out of here, you lousy trash panda! Thanks for listening to Community Cat News. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Meow Meow Puffy Tail. Is your human keeping the best foods locked away inside a refrigerator, pantry, or sealed Tupperware? Your human is trying to starve you to death, and I can prove it in a court of law. Why would your human try to hide all the succulent, juicy, wonderful food away from you? That's just not right. I'm Meow Meow Puffy Tail, feline rights attorney, and I will stop at nothing on this earth. Anything they are trying to keep from you, they will be legally obligated to feed you. Call today, 555-555-555. Just lay on the phone. He's your human make and pay.